Stick with me and I'm going to teach you how to harvest your tomato seeds so you can use them next year. With most seeds, you can just collect them and pretty much let them sit for a season them, throw them in the ground, then you can get new plants. But there's some kinds of seeds that have to either go through like a stratification or there's something difficult like removing a biofilm. Tomatoes are one of those seeds that you can't just grab and throw in the ground. It usually just doesn't work well. So I'm going to teach you how to harvest them and prep them and don't worry, it's pretty easy. So what do you do with rotten tomatoes? This one got nibbled on by some critter and then blew up. So of course, as soon as I was going for this tomato, he had to insert himself into the shot. Yes, you're gonna block me, aren't you? You're gonna block me. So I know you guys have cats at home that do this, right? <laughs> I know, they're like, just shut up and show the tomatoes, but no. I have to show my black cat. I'm going to also try to harvest one that has been on the vine and all dried out now. I think you can get seeds out of there too. So I cut the rotten part out and what I'm going to try to do is find a vein of seeds here. So I'm going to hit those and dig them out with a spoon. So it's actually easier sometimes to just dice it horizontally instead of a vertical and you're going to try to dig some seeds out. This is really hard holding the camera and doing this. But you'll see, you'll get this little goo with the seeds. You want to make sure you scoop the whole piece of gooey stuff out and stick it in, in here. So let me see if I can do that off camera and, and come back. So this is the stuff you want. And you want to actually get some of the little gooey chamber with the seeds. You want all that. This stuff right here. And you're going to throw it in and you're going to let it rot with the seeds. So don't just get the seeds, get a little of the tomato with it. Now you can see it better. I'm going to cover this whole thing with a paper towel and let this sit until it rots down to just the seeds. It'll dry out with just the seeds. And you're doing this to kind of remove the biofilm, a protected biofilm. There's chemicals that break down when it rots that actually get the seeds ready. After your seeds dry out for a few days, you'll re-wet them and then wash all the tomato gunk that's stuck to them off. What I'll do then is let this sit out and dry. I'm going to wash this real good, get all the tomato off it. Um, and then once you dry them, you can store them and they're ready to plant next year. But remember, you have to let them sit in that tomato juice and maybe like a little chunk of tomato so it will rot. And the rot knocks off the biofilm on the seeds, so now the seeds are viable. If you don't get that film off it, uh, the seeds aren't viable, they won't work. So this step's really important. This is the last step. These are washed and now dried for a few days. I'm gonna put them in a plastic bag, so let me show you that. And I put it in with a paper towel just to absorb any renegade moisture that's left. And that'll be good for till next year. Well, I hope you learned everything you need to know about tomato seeds. Also, to help out this channel, remember, please shop through Amazon through my link. It really does help since YouTube barely pays us anymore. And also, just keep watching. Check out my other stories over here and here. I got lots of other gardening and interesting stories. Anyway, be nice to that cat.